I'm getting ready to say just put the games away. What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here and bringing you more tragedy in the world of video games. I mean, it's really getting crazy, man. I mean, what's going to be the next story? Someone beheaded by ISIS members who lost in NFL 2K. I mean, it's just crazy how people are reacting to something as petty as video games. You, you are literally throwing your, your lives away over the most meaningless thing you can do with your day. I mean, I love video games. It's totally honest. I love video games. I love playing them. You know, but I have a very controlled environment. There's no hoods that come over my house. When people come over here, it's usually one of my brothers or, you know, a close friend come over and kick it, play the game. But these people are just obviously surrounded by people who they don't know too well. And they get caught up in, you know, gunfights, Wild West style, getting stabbed up, you know, like Kill Bill over Xbox and PlayStation. And this is another tale of another similar story. I'll drop a link in the description. Okaloosa County. A 17-year-old is accused of attacking his stepfather with a knife after a fight over an Xbox Friday night. Jesus Jimenez suffered eight stab wounds, including four in the back and one in the head. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office has charged Michael Sharon with domestic violence related to the attempted murder. That's a weird charge. You get charged with uh, domestic violence related to attempted murder? I think that attempted murder should come first. Authorities were called to the home on Hubert Road where family members said the minor had gotten angry because Jimenez would not give him his Xbox. They also said Jimenez noticed Sharon had a knife in his hand and tried to push him out of the bedroom door, but the two began wrestling and Jimenez was stabbed multiple times before Sharon fled the home. Authorities found him outside a house on Cloverfield Road and took him to the Department of Juvenile Justice facility near Crestmere. Jimenez was taken to Fort Walton Beach Medical Center for treatment of his injuries, which were described as severe. Damn, dude. You ain't never going home again. Your mom ain't going to trust you. You tried to kill her man over an Xbox. Jesus Christ. Now, things can get heated, right? Especially when you're 17 years old. You, you know, you, you, you start to feel yourself. My feet are as big as your feet, you know? You just banging my mom. Who is you? Who is you? People get caught up in those situations, and sometimes it can get heated. But you always got to remember that it can get escalated to a point where your life changes or your life just ends. It's not worth it for a video game. It's not worth it for anything besides something that's life-threatening. This guy got stabbed multiple times. Four times in the back, one time in the head. That nag is dead. That's what he tried to do. Anyway, he tried to kill the guy, obviously, over an Xbox. And uh, he's 17, so he's going to serve some time in the juvie until he becomes an adult where more than likely he'll serve some time as an adult. Because I think if you have that kind of anger management issue, you got real anger problems. If you stab somebody eight times, four times in the back, one time in the head. I mean, if you stab someone in the back, it's not like they're trying to attack you. It means they're trying to get away from you. And you are trying to kill them. And, uh, you know, I think young people, you know, they make poor decisions just like old people. And when you make these kind of decisions in a, in a land with laws, you need to abide by those laws. And if you break them, then you should suffer the consequences. And I think this guy needs to serve a little bit of time. To uh, you know, help him understand the gravity of what he did here. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever gotten into a fight with anybody over a video game, video game system, losing or winning in a video game competitive match? Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's been lots of crazy stuff people have done. People have traveled across you know different states to meet people who beat them online and kill them. Yeah, so it's really crazy what people do. You know, concerning video games. And, it's kind of mind-blowing to me that people will go that far just to hurt someone over a video game, which is truly meaningless. You're sitting in front of a box that doesn't change your life. It just makes you get older. You sit there and do nothing. It's fun sometimes, though. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter. And if you have your own content you'd like to share or you want to support my channel, do it at BCGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.